Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden, and I wanted to show you an update today. This is going to be my first attempt trying a deep water culture for my indoor ground cherry plant right here. Look how beautiful this plant looks. If you lift this up, you begin to see nice flowers everywhere. Beautiful. And I just harvested another ground cherry that fell. Here's another one right there that's going to fall probably in about a day or two. And you know when it's about to fall because I noticed that uh, the lantern begins to turn a little bit more brown and it looks like a little more dry than originally when it's growing and it's nice and green. It's still pretty green right now but I see the bottom is starting to dry up a little bit. You may be able to see that. And I have a lot of flowers everywhere that are forming. So that means I'm going to have a ton of ground cherries. And I wanted to really maximize my yield of this plant and how big and really the harvest. Try to get as much as possible. So I decided to, instead of growing it in the quart size mason jar like you see right here, I put it in this container that uh, basically supports two gallons and I added the use of a pump and the nice thing about this is it's not costing me any electricity at all no added this is basically what I'm running it's a solar powered air pump you can find the link in the description bar below for the exact one that I'm using and it works really well I think so let's actually open it up and see how it's pumping And look at that. So as you see, it's pretty. Good. It's really good airflow, adding a ton of oxygen to this plant right here. And I can see the root system looks really happy. That's some of the a little bit of the cocoa core that was stuck in the roots. And as you see, they look pretty pretty good right there. Everything seems to have cleaned up. And I noticed also the very top right here. Even though there's about four inches below, because of all the bubbling it's splashing up little bubbles going up so it's basically moisturizing this entire container and you can see the cocoa core right there is nice and moist and even above right here the cocoa core looks very very moist right there and it looks nice and wet but not too wet so it's I think perfect for this plant compared to like you see right here this a little bit more dry this is my self-pollinating cucumber plant We'll be showing the updates for this pretty soon. It's going to be all females and I'm going to have a ton of cucumbers off this plant. And you can see right there, what I could do is basically split this air pump instead of pumping into one container like you see here. I might, I'm probably going to make a go to this one right over here, which is basically my herb garden. I'm going to be adding three more plants here also. We have some dill and some thyme and parsley right there in the back right now. And I'm really happy with the results of this air pump. So if you guys want to lower your electric bill, try to take a look at this. This, this pump might work for you. And I could tell that these root system, the root system right here looks very healthy and I think happy. And I even see new roots starting to shoot off right there look at that those are all going to be oxygen roots probably going around didn't have all the any of these roots showing before so now that everything remoisturized and it's nice and wet the root system seems to be going off pretty well and I could tell because the plant is looking very healthy and what I did basically was um, being that it's a plastic container it's completely see-through I wrapped this in foil and the good thing about that is it didn't cost me anything really to do not much at all and it reflects the light right back up at the plant so the plant is absorbing the light from above as well as from below so it's doing really well and for example if I lift up some of these branches you could see there's flowers everywhere forming and the plant overall I think looks really good and healthy so soon enough we'll have a nice big harvest video to show. So this is going to be my first attempt at doing a deep water culture system. 
and hopefully you follow along and we see how the progress goes so wish me luck and if you like the episode don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching